What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this knob to control the maximum throttle value. So I'm going to be doing this for my Beta 85X and Beta 95X. I do a lot of indoor flying with this and having a tamed throttle is very useful for indoor flying. I also sometimes fly them outside, so that those are times where I'd want full throttle. So we're going to set this up so that when it's all the way down like this, you have zero or very little throttle. And then when it's all the way up on this side, you have full throttle. So like I said, the main reason I'm doing this is because I do a lot of indoor flying with this and having that tamed throttle really helps with tight spaces. Another reason that I could see someone doing this throttle knob would be for something like a Tiny Hawk. Now out of the box, this drone takes a 1S and a 2S battery and it's a very popular starter drone. So when people are starting out and they start with the 1S battery and then they make the hop over to the 2S, probably going to notice that there's a lot more throttle with the 2S. So doing this would be a good way to just kind of gradually get used to the different power between a 1S and a 2S or 4S and a 6S. You, know, you could use this would help get used to the different throttle response. First thing we want to do, turn the controller on. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the menu, make sure you have selected the right model. We're gonna go to page five, I think it is. Six, page six has the mixes. On the mixes page, you're gonna scroll down to your throttle channel. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold down on this and we're gonna select insert after. Now we're gonna do, you don't have to name this, I don't, for source. Like that so it starts beeping and now whether you want to use this knob or this knob it doesn't really make a difference I'm gonna use this one all you gotta do is just move it and it'll automatically select it so now with that selected we'll go down to weight and we'll go to 50 we'll go to offset and we'll also go to 50 down to multiplex and switch that to multiply. So now we have this mapped with this. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing almost. We're gonna do insert after. And it's gonna be very similar to how we just set up that one. We're gonna go wait 50. Now for offset, we're gonna go negative 50. And then for multiplex, just keep it on add. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do to get this mapped to your throttle. So now I will power up this drone and we'll take it for a quick flight and you can see the difference between max throttle and min throttle. All right, so first I'm gonna test max throttle. Got my Insta 360 on and recording.
fresh new battery on here. Port on this. As you could probably see, this was requiring a lot more throttle to just hover. I think to hover, I was somewhere in here, whereas before to hover, I was down here. Now I'm gonna try 50%. I definitely think that 50% was pretty good. I may actually even go a little bit lower just to eliminate those throttle blips, but I feel that at 50%, I have pretty solid control over this and I'm able to get it through some nice gaps pretty steadily. So yeah, that's how you program the throttle onto this knob. Now I'll show you how to do it on Betaflight. So this is the other way to do it through Betaflight. This isn't going to be adjustable on your controller, but this is another way to just tame your throttle down if that's all you're looking to do. So plug the drone in, connect to it, and we will go to CLI and type get throttle. Now we want to modify throttle limit type right here and throttle limit percent. So what we're gonna do is type throttle set, set throttle underscore limit type equals scale, enter. And now we'll key in what percentage we want for the throttle. So if I wanted it to be 50% throttle, I would key in set throttle limit percent and it allows from 25 to 100. So I'll key in 50 and now my throttle limit is at 50. Then I hit save and it saves it. So that's how you map the maximum throttle on the QX7 as well as Betaflight. I think I'm gonna stick to this way just because it's adjustable and I can change it on the fly. Um, 
but what I was using was the Betaflate method of just setting it at a certain percentage and just leaving it there. I think for this drone, I had it at about 70, but I think now I'm gonna stick to just using this method. So if this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, whatever dude.